I'm back with Traveler Whiskey. I recently did this review. It was not very good. Didn't go well for Buffalo Trace and Sazerac and Chris Stapleton. So we're gonna fix it. We're gonna make it better. Hopefully. The spirit box. I have this whiskey Asian kit that I haven't tried yet, but we're gonna see how it works. If it makes a difference. I don't remember how much I paid for this. I'll find out and I'll tell you guys. We're gonna try to bring some character to this baby because it lacks. Let's recap. This is what we know about Traveler Whiskey. Bottled by Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace is owned by Sazerac Company. So they basically get a bunch of Canadian whiskey, light whiskey, cheap whiskey. Then they get some bourbon from Barton Distillery. They blend it. Harlan Wheatley makes, came up with this blend number 40 together with Chris Stapleton, which we don't know still how he came up with that if he cannot taste it. He's sober. It comes at 90 proof, so we have a nice amount of proof there to work with. I still don't know why Sazerac decided to create such a product at a $35 mark. We're gonna put some of the whiskey in this bottle we're gonna probably leave it for about a month, and then we're gonna come back, retaste, and compare, and see if we could fix it, or if we made a difference. I still don't even know how long am I gonna leave it. But you guys won't have to go through that. You'll be able to see it right away. I'll have to wait, you won't have to wait. Let's get to this. You know what, actually, let's revisit. <coughs> Just a little bit. Mm. See, so much alcohol in the nose. I do get some vanilla, a little bit of caramel, but it's so, so, so faint. You mainly get the alcohol. Kind of, that's a, I didn't this, I didn't pick this before. I don't know if it has something to do with me eating a breakfast taco with salsa earlier. But I can taste some mineral notes like saltiness there, salted caramel. But it's, it's not there. I'm pretty sure that adding some age to it with this is gonna help a lot, tons. So it'll be a nice experiment for you guys and see if we can save Chris Stapleton, Harlan Whitley, and Sazerac Company. Let's try to make it better. So how do we do this? So, bum bum. comes with two aging sticks and this cool thing comes with its it's like a lid a cap and at the same time it's the spout the pouring spout that's super cool let's open this thing This is really sealed. Okay, I'll be back. Let's see how this works. I'm supposed to put this in here. Current layer. Let's put a spout. Need to save some for the results. Okay, I think we're in business. We'll see what happens. I'm excited about this, so. So it's been two weeks and I decided that it was time 
to do this. We're about to find out if we can fix this whiskey, make it a little bit more approachable, a little bit more refined with some age in it. I don't want it to be overwhelming either since we have a small amount of it and basically that stick would be for a whole bottle i'm pretty sure that after two weeks we're gonna have a big impact on the flavor this left a lot to desire itself um, especially for 35 dollars that i paid for this bottle what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a blind test i'm gonna have my friend steven come pour them for me so that i don't know which one is which one and there's no bias and see if there's an actual impact on our product yes i think this is going to be a great experiment um, to test this whiskey aging kit and to see if we can fix and make traveler whiskey a little bit more approachable and uh, more refined see if we can develop some more um, caramel notes accentuate that vanilla and uh you know bring a little bit more of that barrel because it, the barrel was practically non-existent whenever i tasted it the first time and i'm hoping we can get some of those notes now I got them all mixed up for you. Okay, thank you, brother. Yeah. Thank you for helping me. Yes. I'll report back to you. Right. Let's try our first sample. So, I already suspect that because this <laughs> tastes way more complex, and it tastes like actual oak so i'm already suspecting that that could be the the actual uh aged one it's I me mean, it's my hmm yeah this is totally the aged one Absolutely. I can 100% say that. See, this, I can guarantee you this is the, the control one, the traveler one. Very, very faint. Once again, very um, young very um not much complexity in it in this but once you try this one this definitely did uh, benefit from the age now you can taste a lot of the vanilla notes some barrel I've been talking and, and assuming, because I'm positive that this is the one, but now let's really find out if I'm correct or not. Yeah, so this is Traveler. This one is the uh, aged one. I was right, didn't lie. So now you know, guys, this whiskey kit did play a big role in it. Uh, it helped a lot and I do love a lot this uh, spout system thing that comes with its own spout and the cap and everything. I, I do like this a lot. Very cool product. This, man, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very happy with the fact that Zazarak went this route. Why would you develop such a product? 
who are you trying to cater to? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, probably just trying to cater to the people that seek those celebrity brands. I don't know, man. It tastes better. It tastes more like a developed complex whiskey, but it's not there yet. I mean, it, it doesn't taste great either. It just tastes better, more approachable, more refined. But that's it. Please tell me what you think about this. Uh, tell me in the comments if you want me to try any other experiments. If you want me to try any other whiskeys, any crazy stuff. Um, tell me what's your favorite current bourbon. Tell me. Just let me know. Don't forget to like this video, please. Over there in the little like thing. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, and I'll see you later.